Hey guys, EVP Man here, and it's been about two weeks since I've had the Sennheiser True Wireless Earbuds. And in this video, we're going to go over my impressions after two weeks. Things that you should know before you buy, and things that you may appreciate once you do. Let's go ahead and check it out. So guys, in this review, we're going to cover my two-week experience with the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds. So we're going to cover several things that you've been asking for and things that you're going to want to know when you purchase these or if you consider purchasing them. We're going to talk about the actual audio quality. What is the music experience? Does it stay in sync when you're watching movies, YouTube, Netflix, etc.? We're also going to talk about the overall experience when it comes to call quality. How do these fit? Do they hurt your ears over time? What's the battery life? And also how the app uh, interacts with this entire process of using these wireless earbuds. So there's gonna be a lot of content here. I'm gonna have an index available on the bottom so that you can click in the specific area that you wanna know more about. Keep in mind that this is about, if you're gonna buy these, you'll wanna watch this video. Oh, and by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon because we do have a video that will be coming up in the next couple days that covers this compared to the Jabra Elite 65T. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So let's talk about battery life. So Sennheiser advertises that you're gonna get about four hours of battery life when using these wireless earbuds. And I have to say that in my experience, it's been pretty close to what they advertise. One thing I did notice, and I want you to look at the app right now really quick, and you'll see here that I did notice an unbalanced usage of battery. So you'll notice that they don't really, uh, I would say, wear or the battery doesn't discharge at the same rate for each one of these earbuds. Now this is something that as I've been uh, doing some research either on Reddit and on also other forums, I've heard other people complaining or mentioning that as well. So that is also true with these. Now these I got two weeks ago, so maybe it's because it's the first run, maybe there's gonna be a firmware update that will address it, but I will tell you that I am noticing that the battery life on one earbud tends to go down faster than the other, as you can see in this video. Now, the other thing that you may wonder is discharge rate. How quickly does the case actually discharge? So what discharge refers to is really the fact that you may have these earbuds in the case and you may go on for several days without using them. So what happens when you go to use them? Are the batteries dead? Are the earbuds also dead? So what I found is that the discharge rate on these, are, it's pretty normal, it's what I would expect. If you do go for two or three weeks without uh, using these, it will discharge. But over a week period, which is what my test uh, really covered, the discharge rate was acceptable, meaning that the battery case did discharge somewhat, but I had never found myself not having any battery usage at all or my earbuds being completely dead. And I was using them intermittently. So I was using them one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, just to see what it would be like. So charging this was fine, and also the battery life on the battery case itself really stood up. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the actual fit. Uh, so these fit really well in your ears. So I didn't have any discomfort personally, right? But this is gonna be something that you'll wanna look into yourself because it varies from person to person. We all have different ears, right? So from a usage, I didn't experience fatigue. I was on a plane again this week and had them on for a four hour flight and I used them completely for a four, four hour flight to listen to music and also, you know, I was watching some Netflix and things like that and didn't have any discomfort, but this was me personally. And I am used to wearing earbuds in my ears, not just over the ear. So I would still recommend that if you're gonna purchase them, that you do test them out, make sure that you're gonna be feel comfortable with them in your ear, but no discomfort, they did not fall out. Oh, and by the way, I did use them for working out as well, and they stood in even on my runs. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Bluetooth connectivity. You know, how stable is the Bluetooth connectivity with these? Does it um, actually lose signal strength when you put the earbuds or your phone in your pocket, actually, when you put your phone in your pocket? So I'll tell you, so first thing, uh, I could have my phone in my pocket, I could have my phone in my backpack, I could have my phone in my uh, suit jacket, right? No problems, back pocket, didn't matter. So I didn't lose any kind of connectivity, didn't get staticky, didn't uh, crackle, and I didn't lose any of the signal strength when I had these, so that's a big thumbs up. But one thing that was driving me crazy, guys, and this is something that happened uh, over the last two uh, weeks, probably about three times uh, as I was using them on and off because I was switching from earbuds to earbuds, is maintaining Bluetooth connectivity with my phone. So I tested these with an iPhone, and it was the latest iPhone, so iPhone XS Max. I also had this with my Samsung, and I also uh, tried this with the uh, Google uh, Pixel 3 XL. And first I thought it was a phone, 
And what I was experiencing is, uh, anytime I would open these up and put them in my ear, no phone found, no phone found, no phone found. I'd go into the app or the Bluetooth uh, settings of the phone and I would see them there and I would tap on them and it would try to find it and it would never connect. I even ran into problems where I would try to repair and it would not repair. So had Bluetooth challenges, had pairing issues, and I had this consistently with uh, three different phones. So this may be a firmware uh, fix that's coming. I know uh, Sennheiser has been watching these videos, so hopefully this is something they can look into, and I'd be happy to talk to them about my experiences. But Bluetooth connectivity uh, or maintaining a lock is what I had a lot of trouble with with these. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the actual app. So, you know, when we look at the app that's on the phone, how stable is the app uh, for, you know, usage? And I will tell you that, again, it was buggy. I had a buggy experience with, with the app, and I'll tell you the things that I ran into. First of all, many times the app took too long to connect to the earbud. So I would open up the app to go into it to modify either the EQ settings or turn on the transparency mode. And I found that the app either took too long or never found the earbuds. So had to try it a couple times, cleared memory. You know, if you're an Android user, you can clear out the memory. If you're an iPhone user, you swipe the apps away. Did those both, and then eventually it would come back. But the app is a little bit unstable. So it sometimes doesn't recognize that the earbuds are there, and sometimes even the settings, when I would tap the transparency button, as you can see in this video here, the, this transparency setting, many times it just wouldn't work. So it required me, you know, putting the earbuds back, having them turn off, turn them on again for it to work. So the app is a little buggy. So now, music. Let's talk about the audio experience. So the audio experience for these is like really good. They're, they're really good. Uh, so this is how I was testing these. So I took the same song and I played it multiple times on four different earbuds. And a lot of the earbuds that I've tested here on the channel. And not only did I test it on earbuds, but I also tested them with the Sony's that we've been reviewing as well, the M3's, which are over the ear. So I listened to the same song, actually multiple songs, multiple times using the different earbuds to see was there any kind of difference that, was, that I could perceive. And I have to say, absolutely I could with these. And the best way I can explain it, I'm not a musician, uh, so, so you know, I may get some of, this thing, some of this wrong, but the way I would explain it is, you know how you can have in any kind of, uh, you know, when you're listening to music, there's different instruments that make up whatever you're listening to. With these, I was able to pick out distinct instruments. And with the Sony M3s, while the music is great and you feel the beast mids and highs, everything is really blended in. Uh, when I looked at the Jabras, the same thing. Everything sounds great, but it was more blended in an experience. With these, I was actually able to hear distinct instruments in the entire uh, music experience. And that to me is what sets these apart, that music experience. If you know what I'm talking about, comment in the comment area below. If you have these and you've had other ones, let me know if your experience is the same. Because again, to me, it's the, the it, they just are one step above and they give you that high fidelity where you can actually hear a little bit more. But you have to really listen to it. Now guys, the last thing we're going to talk about is call quality. So how do these do when you're taking phone calls? Uh, they do really well. And the way I've always explained it, and you'll see this in a lot of my videos, is that I talk about how when someone is speaking to you over the phone, does the background noise, does it appear to be in front of you when you're having the phone call, or does it appear to be behind you when you're having the phone call? So every person that I spoke to with these said that they knew I was out and about. They could hear in some cases, they could hear what was going on, but it wasn't like I was talking over them or over the noise. It was more like the noise was in the background. In some cases, the noise was subtle. In some cases, the noise was high. Now, one thing that was always consistent, and that was that if there was a door slamming, if I was walking through the airport and there's some, some screeching sound, if there was a baby crying, they said it sounded like the baby was like really next to me. If the door was slamming, it felt like I slammed the door. They just felt that it was very magnified. Uh, but again, the call quality was good, it was acceptable, and it was just that those large noises became really, really amplified. Now, with these, the transparency mode, which will be the last thing we'll cover on call quality, uh, and just overall quality, I felt that the transparency mode is not up to par with its competitors. It's there, it works well, but I did have a hard time, you know, if someone was talking to me and I was trying to use these uh, to listen to music and then just do the transparency, it was not as good as what I saw from the Jabra uh, 65Ts or the New Heroes either. So uh, transparency works, but it's not fantastic like what you'll get from a music experience. 
All right, guys, so that concludes my impression, two-week experience, using the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless Earbuds. Uh, they're definitely a buy for the reasons I included in, in this video. If you have comments or questions, or if your experience is different from mine, I'd like to know in the comment area below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.